All right, so for our last video of the section, I believe, uh, we're going to do a deep dive analysis. So in the previous example, we talked about how a senior manager is going to come in here. So I'm just going to click this revert button just to reset the page. Um, a senior manager is going to come in and go, what the hell is going on in the Netherlands? The senior manager goes to the manager, can you please check on it? The manager comes in and goes, furniture is the one we're struggling with the most. Let's click on that. And in terms of furniture, we're making the least profit on bookcases, which is this one. So now it gets to me. And my boss goes, hey, Jed, there's an issue with bookcases. Figure out what it is. And so we do a deep dive. And a deep dive is basically, let's find the reason why, if there even is a why, or if we can even figure it out. But the whole idea of a deep dive is that you don't know if you're going to figure it out. So you just keep digging. You keep diving, right, and see what you find out. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to Tableau, all right? And let's say I have this data set here, okay? So I've got this one right here, and this is the one of interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sheet, okay, which is this one, and I'm going to first, um, how should I do this? Uh, the first thing I want to do is, because I'm interested in Netherlands, furniture and what was it again uh bookcases right so netherlands furniture bookcases so let's just write this so i don't forget netherlands furniture and bookcases right that's what we're going to be investigating all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into a new table and i'm first going to just recreate those results right so i'm going to check out profit I'm going to look at sales, okay? Then I'm going to go into, uh, I think it was country, right? Because we're going to see Netherlands, which is right there, okay? Um, then we're also going to check out category, then subcategory. Let's bring that in here. So now we have a lot of data. But what we're really interested in is Netherlands. Now the hard part is actually trying to scroll and find it and then go and keep only. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab country and move it to filters. And I'm going to look for Netherlands because that's all I'm interested in. Go OK. Right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm only interested in bookcases. So let's move. Let's get rid of category and let's just filter for bookcases. Right. And go OK. So these are now the stats for bookcases. So I'm at minus 7,800. Uh, in terms of profit okay so the next thing is let's get granular right let's divide this even further so one thing I can look at is let's say manufacturer let's bring that in and already it's split down the bottom so these are all the different types of bookcases we've been selling so let's figure out well which one is not selling very well so the colors here aren't very good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go profit and let's drop profit into colors, right? So that we can see, and I want to do red, green. Okay. Profit. Okay. So one thing I'm going to do is use the full color range. Sorry. No, that's not what I want. All right. I want this to be reversed. Right. I want the lowest values to be red. I had it the other way around. Okay. All right. So these are the lowest. So I'm going to sort this. Right. So it appears to be the Bush Library with doors, Daniel Library with doors, Safco Classic Bookcase. And one thing I'm going to look at is how much does this represent as the whole of all the profits that we made here? Right, all, all the profits that we lost. So what I'm going to do is get rid of sales. I'm not interested in that anymore. Okay, I'm going to grab profit. I'm going to duplicate it. Just hold Control on the keyboard. Right. So now I have two. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go Quick Table, and I'm going to go Percent of Total. Right. And I want this as a label on this one. So I'm going to move this one to label. All right. So now I got a label. So if the total of this is 100%, okay, that would be 100%. This is saying that in terms of the profit 
that we're making or losing in this case. 14% is from this Bush library with doors, Daniel library with doors, Safco, right? So I can probably say that if I took these, right, which is probably, what's that? Uh, 26, 34, 42, probably close to, this represents 50% of the profit we're losing. So clearly there is something going on with these five. So I can actually try and look into these a little bit deeper. So I'm not interested in the rest of this. I could grab manufacturer and put it into filters, but that will take too long to deselect all these ones. So I can just right click on this and go keep only. That's all I'm interested in. Now, if there were a way I can break this down further, that would be great. Okay. And let's see if there is. So subcategory I've already kind of put in there. Segment maybe. Let's grab that. Consumer, home, office, no, not really much insight. Let's see, maybe order date, customer name. Let's just see what comes up. Nothing. Uh, let's check city, not individual cities, maybe states, not nothing. Let's check order dates, 2018, 2015. Mm not really much I can see here. Actually, you know what we can do? What if what if we check the order dates? So what I'm gonna do is get rid of manufacturer. We already know these five are the ones with the issues, right? I'm gonna flip this and then I'm going to change the date to be continuous month, right? So there we go. This is what's happened. So someone made a bad decision from around December 2015 and it's just been dropping ever since okay so probably the decision to start selling these ones at the time probably wasn't justified because we were already making losing money even back then so this is probably what I would do as a deep dive and then usually when it comes to presenting this data right uh, telling my managers um, you never say anything for sure unless you are a hundred percent sure because in this case, there's still a lot we don't know, right? And so you always have to approach with caution saying, this is just based on what we know. Um, if we had more information, maybe we'd know. If we knew who made this decision and what their basis was, maybe they had a good basis, we don't know. But you always have to try and, like as an analyst, always try and look at these things objectively, assuming you don't know everything. Because as soon as you start saying that, you know all the details, right? You're going to be in trouble because no one ever knows everything. There's just the world, the real world is just far too complex to know every detail. So everything is based on assumptions, right? Just like scientific experimentation. So that's kind of a really simple kind of deep dive analysis. Some that I do pers uh, professionally can take anywhere from 20 minutes to two weeks, right? Depending on how complicated it is how much validation you need to do, how much you need to prove, what you're trying to prove, how good the data is, what's the quality, how long does it take to prepare and clean. You know, there's a lot of things that um, factor into a deep dive. But, you know, little by little, you start with little problems and you kind of go from there. So I'll stop it there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this section and I'll see you soon. Bye.